Welcome to another edition of Mastering Time Master Tutorials in English. Today I'm going to show you a technique to adjust audio volume over time and this is useful in an instance, for example, if you have music going on and then you start to narrate something in a separate track and you want the music level to go down while you're narrating. Right. And so I put together a quick thing that has three clips. Uh, two clips don't have any speaking and the middle clip has speaking in it. And there is an audio, there's a song at the bottom in the audio track. And so I'm just going to play it real quick so you can see how it sounds bad because when I start talking, you can't hear what I'm saying. <laughs> really can't hear my voice at all. We want to be able to hear the music at the beginning just as it is and we want the music kind of playing in the background as a music bed but we want to hear my voice. So I'm going to select the music track. It turns yellow. The right hand menu pops out and then the top row, the third one over, looks like a little face to me. That's the one we're going to choose and that'll open the menu for the volume envelope. Now I did a tutorial on keyframes where I talked about a similar setup and we are going to be setting keyframes. What they are is points in time where changes are animated through the content and we're talking about animating audio levels. So that means that we change the audio level, the percentage of how loud it is over a period of time at specific points. And so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about those icons. So the first one at the top is kind of a circle with a plus and that adds a keyframe. If you look down at the audio track now you can see there's a red dot in there where we're sitting at the playhead uh, at 4.154 now I'm gonna put four of these dots in and explain that in a second but so I'm gonna add one more along uh, where I basically start to talk and then I'm going to scrub to where I basically stop the talk I'm not doing this carefully because I want to do it quickly for the video you would kind of listen and see where your spots were at um, and then you'd add one and then I'm going to add another one. All right. And so now I have four points in time. And now these buttons below allow me to navigate between those keyframes. So if I hit the button arrow to the left, I go to the most leftmost keyframe. And you can see that it's navigating. The playhead is moving and the film is moving as well. Um, I'm going to go one, two, three, four. And now back to the first one that I put there. Now you may ask why I put four in. And this is really important because... Let's say if I took this and I said, now we can show you this is at any of the keyframes, I'm going to take this slider that says hundred percent and I'm going to reduce it. And you can see that the point goes down in the audio and you can imagine that the volume is going down as well. So I'm going to play what we've just done. I'm going to check the volume envelope and say, this is what we want, even though this is not correct. So I'm showing you why we I'm, I'm using this as kind of an example. So I hit check and then I go to the beginning and let's play it. Now, hopefully you heard the volume drop in level there. We're going to select the audio uh, music again, go back into the volume envelope, and we can see that this right here, when we hit that second keyframe, that it was sliding down to zero the whole way. You can watch, actually, if we scrub, you can see how that dot actually, uh, I'm sorry, the, the slider moves because it's animating these numbers. So at this moment in time, it's 40, 33%, 29%. So this is the reason why we added these four keyframes. So if you want your if you want your level to go down, if you want to be 100% up to a certain point and then go down following that, then you add two keyframes like I just did. And I'm going to move to the second one and that's where I'm going to drop the volume. I'm going to drop it down to about 13% so you can still hear a little bit of the music behind me talking. And then what I'm going to do is I fast forward or I hit the advanced keyframe to where I want it to start rising again, because if I did this right now, the music would slowly rise over the part that I'm speaking, which is not what we want. We want the music to be roughly at the same level while I'm speaking the whole time. So I'm going to lower that and make that the same number that I did before. And then you can see that the envelope, it's called an envelope, which is um, just a technical term for this. I set it to 14. Um, but now you can see what happens is we're going to check. Yes, this is what we want. I'm going to hit play. So it's Oregon. It's Lava Land. It's not a national park, which is kind of strange. And it's got a pretty good setup for like checking it out. So I'm going to check it out. I may climb up that. I may... So 
hopefully you could see what happened in there is that um, we had it so that the music was playing nice and loud when the music's the only thing playing when my voice comes in then you're able to hear me and then it bumps back up and plays the music at the end um, we did a very basic job of it but most of the time I do it like this it is possible let's say if I turn my head away from the microphone that I could in the middle here I could set three more points and um, you know something like this if I knew that in the middle that I, I got real quiet or something then I can actually uh, drop this even down even more um, or you could go into and just to show you real quick is that it works on a clip as well that has video but you'll find it in a slightly different place you'll find it down here in the main menu here but the name is the same and the icon looks similar it's that volume envelope and then it works the same way is that if this was the case I would say let's say if you know I knew that I stopped talking or I was talking more quietly in the middle I could say add one this is where I was quiet it and then add a third one to go back to a zero level and then navigate to that middle one and raise my voice to 153 percent and so you know what we did is more or less we lowered the music more raised my voice more it's not going to sound pretty but i will play it before wrapping it up and then then that should be So it's Oregon, it's Lava Land. It's not a national park, which is kind of strange. And it's got a pretty good setup for like checking it out. So I'm gonna check it out. I may climb up that. So I hope that you've learned something useful. I think that this makes a big difference in how your audio sounds in your, um, especially if you're using something where you've got music and spoken word on top of it. So if you liked this video, um, subscribe to the channel. I am producing more and more content. I know a ton about video editing and KindMaster is my favorite video editing app for my mobile phone. Come back uh, and look to see what's going on on a regular basis and get out there and make some really cool stuff with your videos with KindMaster.